To play the media stored on your computer, you'll need a reliable media player. If you run the Windows operating system, there are tons of software available that can play most of the popular video and audio formats. Other than being able to play your files, it's important to have a media player that is lightweight that won't slow down your computer. Today, I will show you the top five media players that you can use on your computer for free. Coming up on Tech Gumbo. Coming in at number five is DivX Player, whose primary focus is to be a high quality video player. They claim to be the first to offer HEVC playback, including Ultra HD, and supports most of the popular formats, including MKV, AVI, MP4, and of course DivX. It also comes with the ability to stream your content from its player to any DLNA compatible device. Their feature called Trick Play lets you quickly jump to chapter points in your video and contains a media library to keep your stuff organized. It has support for multiple audio to be able to easily switch between soundtracks. There is also a resume play feature built in to quickly get back to the point of the video that you are watching. Now for the cons. It's ad supported, so when you open the player, you'll see an ad. Short videos play just fine, but longer form videos like TV shows and movies seem to take longer than other media players to start playing. When installing, be careful of the bundled offers. In this instance, you would need to uncheck the box to avoid installing additional software. The free version of DivX Player comes with most of the key features. To get rid of the ads and get access to advanced features, they do offer DivX Pro, which is available for around $20. Some of their so-called Pro features are available for free with other media players, so one of the others I'll be showing may work better for you. In the number four spot is GOM Player, which comes with support built in for most of the popular video and audio formats. One of its main features includes the ability to play some broken media files and can find missing codecs with its Codec Finder service. Some of its other features include being able to play 360 degree video, playback speed control, and has screen capture capabilities. You can also change skins to give the player a whole new look. The GOM remote allows you to connect to other devices. This includes all basic functions. Just like the previous player mentioned, when installing, they will offer additional software to install. Also, when presented with the choice of Express or Custom installation, select Custom and uncheck the options to install AdAware, Web Companion, and the other to set Bing as your new homepage and default search engine. GOM Player has a great looking interface that is easy to use and supports Windows operating systems going back to Windows XP. I really like this player and it would have been higher on this list if it didn't have the additional offers included in their installer. Thankfully, with the rest of the media players coming up in this video, when installing those, you won't have to be on the lookout for additional offers. In at number three is Media Player Classic Home Cinema, which is a lightweight and compact media player for 32-bit and 64-bit Windows operating systems. There are no advertisements, which is great for those of you that hate ad-supported software. When you first open Media Player Classic, you'll notice it shares some similarities with the old Windows Media Player. Media Player Classic doesn't have many features, but does include a large amount of built-in codecs to play your video and audio files, and also works as a TV tuner if you have a TV card installed on your computer. If you want to change the look of the player, they have several toolbars available that can be installed. Sadly, the most recent release of Media Player Classic Home Cinema in July of 2017 might be the last. They're actively looking for people to contribute to the project. In the runner-up spot at number two is Pop Player, which is quickly becoming a favorite for a lot of people. It uses techniques like QuickSync, CUDA, and DXVA to deliver maximum performance. It still supports 3D, along with various subtitle formats, including Blu-ray. Most of the popular audio and video codecs are already included and supports open codec to add whatever codecs that you want. Pop Player has a great looking user interface and has too many features to list right now. Some of those include 360 degree output, 3D video mode, pixel shader, along with online streaming and Blu-ray support. They also include their companion service, which has access to live streaming content 
and videos on demand. Pop Player is an excellent media player, and for a lot of you out there, you might find that this player better suits your needs than the top pick in this video. Coming in at number one on this countdown is VLC Media Player. What makes this player the best is that it's open source, so you're free to examine the source code. In addition to Windows, it's available for several other platforms, including Linux, Android, macOS, and iOS. So you can use VLC on just about any device without having to switch players. It can play just about everything you throw at it without the need to install additional codecs. In fact, I've never ran into a file format that it couldn't play. It's also highly customizable. You can install extensions, add skins, or create your own with the VLC skin editor. It has a clean looking interface. Audio and video files load quickly too. VLC also has numerous features, including the ability to create playlists, convert files, and play discs. If you're looking for a fast and simple media player that can play just about everything on almost every platform, check out VLC Media Player. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. All links are in the description. If you use a media player that you feel should have been included, let me know in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and ring the bell notification icon for more top fives and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.